Hello, welcome to Moo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to calculate the volume and surface area of a rectangular prism. So, uh, let's get started. Here's a rectangular prism, and in order to calculate volume, you use the formula one-third times the base area, and for a rectangle, the base area is length times width, so I'm going to write 5 for the width, and the length will be 10, times the height of the pyramid, which is 7.5. And when I multiply 5 times 10, that is 50 times 7.5, gives you 375, and then times 1 third is equal to 125 units. There's not really any units given cubed. So that's the volume using one-third times length times width times the height of the pyramid. Now the surface area is a little bit more involved and to calculate the surface area it's a two-step process. You take the lateral area and add that to the base area for the total surface area. So to get the lateral area of a pyramid and you can look at this version of this pyramid here you basically take for the perimeter the area of this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle, and you can do that using the formula one half the perimeter times the slant height, which is this height, not the height of the pyramid, but the slant height, which is the height of each of these individual pyramids. So I will call that the slant height or the slant length. So, let's go ahead and get started. I take 1 half times 10, and this side is 10, so it would be 10 plus 10 plus 5, which is this side, plus 5, which is the other side, okay, um, times the slant height, which is, in this particular case, is 9, times 9. So then that equals 1 half times 20 plus one half times 30, which is equal to 15 times 9, which is equal to 135. But that's not my surface area yet. That only gets me halfway there. Let me move this up real fast. So now I have to calculate the base area. And I will do that by multiplying length times width, which is equal to um, 5 times 10. Okay, that equals 50. Add these two together, and that's 185 units squared for the area. Okay, let's work another example of these. So let me pull this one in, and let's look at another example. Okay, and again, let's look what we have here for the volume. Let me work this right over here. The volume is going to equal one-third times the length times width, which is 10 times 6 times, remember, the height of the pyramid, which is 10. And that will equal to one-third times 10 times, that 60 is equal to 600, which is equal to one-third of 600 is equal to 200 and that is units cubed. So there's the volume. Okay, Now let's go with the surface area. And remember the surface area, that's a terrible surface area, surface area is one half the perimeter times the slant height. Remember the slant height is the height of these triangles here slant height. So it's going to be 1 half times 10 plus 10, 10 plus 10, plus this side 6, plus this side 6, okay, times the slant height, which is 11, okay? So again, the perimeter was 10 plus 10 plus 6 plus 6, that's where I got these numbers. Now obviously you could go 10 times 2, but I wanted to do this to show you where I got the numbers from. And then the slant height, not the height of the pyramid, but the slant height is this 11. So, okay, 
And then so that is one half times 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 6 is 26 plus 6 is 32. One half of 32 is equal to 16. 16 times 11 and that is going to equal to 16 times 11 is 176. And that the 176 represents the lateral area. So I'm going to write lateral area. So again, the lateral area was 1 half times the perimeter, 10 plus 10 plus 6 plus 6, which is equal to 32. Half of 32 is 16. 16 times the slant height is 11, which is equal to 176. Now all we have to do is get the base area, which is simply um, length times width, and that will be 10 times 6, which is equal to 60. Uh, add 176 and 60, and that equals to 236. I'm going to rewrite this over here because it's getting a little messy. 236, and that will be units squared. And so that will be your area. Lateral area plus base area equals total surface area of the pyramid. Thanks for watching. Mumu Math uploads a new math video every day.